a first five innings bet. Great situational spot and two overs in Major League Baseball today, plus an early look at Saturday's college football slate. I've got a little something for everybody today on the Power Five. Unfortunately, just a two and three day yesterday on the show, but still an outstanding 44, 23 and three run here on the program. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners. Now let's get to Tuesday's card. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on my selections. We're going to start in the same place that we began yesterday. Brewers first five run line versus the Cardinals. Right around even money to lay the half run in the first five here. Obviously, just need the Brew Crew to be leading after five innings. Now, my under bet clearly didn't work out on yesterday's series opener between these two teams. Let it be noted, however, that Milwaukee was able to score nine runs on just seven hits. They had a three-run homer in the first and a grand slam in the sixth. You look at today's matchup, hopefully we get some of that same offense early on from the Brew Crew. We should, because they're up against Steven Matz, who is making his return from the IL. Matz has not started a big league game since April, guys. He had a 6.18 ERA in six starts before getting hurt. Meanwhile, Milwaukee, who are they sending out? Aaron Savale had a great month of August. 3.29 ERA in five starts. Seven shutout innings against the Giants last time out. So I see a clear starting pitching edge today for the Brew Crew. Let's also not forget what I've been saying about St. Louis for months now. They are not as good as their record. They have been outscored by 58 runs over the course of the season. You're going to want to play the Giants. This is our second play today. Play the Giants as a short underdog tonight against the D-backs. Not official yet, but it is expected Kyle Harrison starting for San Fran on Tuesday. If that is the case, yes, bet the G-men. Harrison has a significant home versus road split in his career. ERA about two full runs lower here at home, which is obviously where this game takes place tonight. But an even better reason to bet the Giants here is from a scheduling perspective. They had Monday off while the D-backs were finishing a wraparound series with the Dodgers. They lost. Get a lot of runs in that series. Uh, it's a key edge for me, the day off for San Fran. So I'm backing them here. I'd even play them uh, as short favorites up to minus 115, minus 120. All right. We also want to look at the over 7.5 in Mariners A's, our third play today. If you caught the morning wager yesterday with myself and Mark Zinnel, then you know I was wrong when it came to betting the under in yesterday's series opener between these two AL West rivals. Note, it was the only pick between the two of us that we got wrong on yesterday's edition of the Morning Wager. Uh, anyway, back to this show, back to the Power Five. Uh, in addition to that result yesterday with the game going over, there's two things that have me pivoting towards the over for today's matchup between Seattle and Oakland. One is Seattle starter Luis Castillo has significantly worse numbers on the road than he does at home. That's true for basically everyone in this Mariners rotation, but... Castillo seems to have among the sharpest splits in the group. Then he got JT Ginn going for Oakland. Just his second career big league start. He allowed four runs and in five innings in his uh, first one. A total of seven and a half, just too low for these two starters. So we're going to bet the over in Seattle, Oakland. Speaking of betting the over, you're going to want to do just that when it comes to Red Sox Mets tonight. Although Boston has been held to exactly one run in three consecutive contests, all losses, obviously. Uh, for the season, they've scored more on the road than they have at Fenway. And while the Mets, they've allowed three runs or fewer in four consecutive games, all wins, and have won the last five starts made by David Peterson, I don't care. Peterson, I've said it before, and we're going to say it again now. He is perhaps the biggest negative regression candidate in all of baseball when it comes to starting pitching. He's got a 2.83 ERA against a 5.12 expected ERA. So I'm going to continue to find ways to fade him moving forward. But the problem for Boston in this matchup, and this is why I'm not taking the Red Sox as a small dog. Well, it's twofold, the problem. One is they're starting Cutter Crawford, who has been awful in the second half, allowing over three home runs per nine innings. He's gotten that under control. Ouch, that is atrocious. Uh, he's, you know, gotten that under control a little bit. Uh, his last few starts, but I'm not buying Crawford in this spot, nor can I buy a Red Sox bullpen that has been dreadful ever since the All-Star break. Runs will be scored in this matchup tonight. Over eight on the Mets and Red Sox. Okay, I'm going to get to my college football lean in just a moment, but first, I want to let you know that right now at wagertalk.com, you can get a three-day all-access pass 
for only $49. Considering that I've won 67% of my premium plays over the last 10 days, that's in addition to the success we're having here on the Power 5, three days for only $49 sounds like a pretty good deal to me, gang. You can choose as many different handicappers as you'd like as well, not just me. So you can take advantage uh, and get three days for $49 for as many different of the great handicappers we've got at wagertalk.com uh, as you would choose. We're also giving you the freedom to choose when you want that three-day all-access to start. So if you want to wait until Friday so that you can get both Saturday college football and Sunday NFL, go ahead. Just go to wt.buzz slash bp to take advantage of this incredible three-day offer. Again, just $49 for three full days of winning selection. That's a $20 savings. Okay, speaking of football, moving forward here on the Power Five, my plan every Tuesday is to give you an early college football lean. Just maybe a situation or a line that caught my eye for the upcoming weekend. Today, it's going to be Northern Illinois plus the points against Notre Dame. Shop around. You should be able to find a line higher than four touchdowns in this one. Look, the Fighting Irish Harvest is going to win the game. We know that, okay? It's Northern Illinois they're playing. But it's a total letdown spot. For Marcus Freeman's team after that big win against AM last Saturday. Cheap plug, yours truly, cash the first half under in that Notre Dame AM game. But you look at the point spread here, it's massive. Northern Illinois has covered five straight road openers, including outright upsets over both Georgia Tech and Boston College in the last three years. They put up 54 points and over 700 total yards last week, albeit against an FCS team. I just think the Huskies can stay within four touchdowns of Notre Dame. Classic. Classic letdown spot for the Fighting Irish. So take the points in that one. All right, let's recap the Power Five, shall we? Number one, Brewers, first five, run line versus the Cardinals. Should be around even money to lay the half a run in the first five. Number two, Giants against the D-backs. This line, not official at most books yet, but the Giants, they should be around even money. Maybe a short dog. I'd play them up to minus 115, minus 120 because of the situation that I went over. Number three, over seven and a half. Mariners A's would play that up to eight. Number four, Red Sox Mets over eight would play that up to eight and a half. And number five for College Football Saturday, Northern Illinois plus 28 and a half or better against Notre Dame. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, go ahead, smash that like button. I always appreciate the support. Uh, remember to go to wt.buzz slash bp. Speaking of support, uh, that's where you'll find all of my premium selections. I'm going to have a 4% MLB best bet for Tuesday. Got a raw deal last night with that under in Pirates-Cubs. It was a 3-0 game heading into the 8th, and the Cubs bullpen fell apart. A Cubs bullpen that has been great this entire second half. The, really frustrating, but we bounce back tonight again. I'm hitting 67% over the last 10 days with all premium plays. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but the Morning Wager as well. Myself, Mark Zinno, we have a lot of fun on that program every Monday through Friday, giving you more free winners. That's going to do it for the Tuesday edition of the Power 5, guys. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.